Alrighty guys, today we're going to be putting the uh, Sanus Viewpoint uh, wall mount onto this TV. And there's a reason why we're doing it outside. Uh, but just in case you wonder, it's a uh, TCL Smart TV. So, you're going to notice it's got four, hole, four screw holes here. That's where we're going to attach the, uh, the brackets. <clears throat> and of course, for your this one you need the m4 screws uh the shorter ones are the m4s and we're gonna go ahead and use the m45 washers that they had with it uh yeah people people love to rub their engines but there is a reason why we're doing this outside so don't worry you'll see you'll see you'll see it in, in a couple minutes okay so we got those all set up right uh you're gonna take your hanger here and your hanger is going to go in a U shape for the top. We're going to line it up and we're going to see that, okay, for this one it's going to fit into this hole and that hole. That will make it even, you know. So you will go ahead and put those in. And I'm not going to be able to get it. I'm not going to be able to get it started with my finger, so we'll go ahead and use the uh, drill. Just because, <laughs> and I'm not going to get it tight yet. I'm just going to get both sides in here. Actually, probably all four screws before I worry about tightening it down. Okay. Now for the bottom one, well, it's going to go the opposite way. So we're making it like a yelling, shouty face with these, right? And we know when this is the second one. So I was going to do the same on the bottom. Oopsie. Of course. There we go. And last screw over here for this. Okay, we'll go ahead and tighten those down now. And uh, we'll put a link for this mount down below in the description if you want to check that out. Uh, it is a very nice looking mount. Lots and lots of ability to move around, which is what I wanted for this particular project. Uh, got a couple mounts in, inside that, uh, well, they needed them to function a little differently. But uh, for this out here, this is exactly what we want. So, now we just need to attach this, and, well, it doesn't really say which way it goes, does it? No, it goes this way, with the arrow pointing up. So, this lip's going to come out to you, towards you, arrow's going to face up, and you're going to find where you want it mounted. Uh, I would suggest not having... The uh, piece hanging below but it's all going to depend on where you want it to hang at so might have to adjust it after you get it started or after you get it on just to be sure that you get it exactly where you want but your top two bolts or screws rather are going to uh, actually determine the height the two below well, they're adjustable, uh, but there's not as many holes on those. Anyway, we got that too, uh, too tight. She won't, doesn't want to move. Uh -oh. Okay, I think we got it. Of course, she'll move a little bit now. And then you put the ones in the bottom as well. And you're just going to... Yeah, you're not. Nope. Okay, Sanus, uh, your, your holes don't line up, guys. We'll try this one more time down here now that that other side loose. Alright, she went in, she went in, just took a little more effort than I thought. Oh, 
Okay, now she's on the back of the TV. Uh, this is your your bracket that's going to attach to the wall mount itself. So now we got to get the wall mount part onto the wall. So we'll catch back up with you here in a second. I gotta go grab some tools. Alrighty, guys. The next thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna put the arm or the uh, wall mount onto the wall. Um, now, of course, your TV is gonna to attach to this end right here, uh, which has an arrow pointing up. So that's the top of it. Uh, what's actually going to attach to the wall is the smaller end. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of move this a little bit to compact it down a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and put our bolts with our washer through. And uh, I'm gonna wing this, I'm not gonna level it because we're gonna move it eventually anyway. But let me get that bolt first bolt started here. We're gonna go right in the middle of this door where the stud is. Uh, and on your wall at home, you're just gonna go through the studs. But uh, I wanna make sure that that top part is not gonna be the top of the door, or uh, above the door, because I don't want the TV hitting. And getting stuck. So with that one started, we're gonna go ahead and get the other the bottom one started as well. And we're gonna use the stud right there on the door as our level. not level it's the door's fault because the door is not level so we are egg on there perfect on there next thing you're gonna do actually the last thing you're gonna do you're gonna get your TV up so you're gonna take it and this little hook right here it's gonna go right over top of this. We're just gonna drop her right on there. And ah. there's a locking screw in this little blue bag. I'm gonna pull it out. And you might want to follow along with my sweeps because I gotta move it. Can you see that? Can you yep. see right here? Yep. Alrighty. This little screw is gonna go right into that hole. Which locks the TV in place. So now you can't lift it off. You can't jiggle it off. Uh, it's sturdy here in the stud, and we can watch TV in the yard, but that's not why, I mean, that's not 100% why we put it here. We put it here for the daughter, and we got it a little too high to go into the door. So we're going to take this bolt here, loosen that up. Uh, I'm going to tilt it forward. Yep, tilt it forward ever so slightly. Tighten that back down and see if we can get her in there. Now we're going to have to drop this down a little bit to, for what we wanted. But that's how you hang your TV with the Sanus, uh, I don't know, full motion viewpoint. Bye! So we, we did lower, or we didn't drop it down on the on the stud. We dropped it down on the back of the TV, uh, just because it's easier. But now 
All we got to do, close the door, and she'll slide right in through there. We can still lock her, but we can open her right back up. Pull her right back out. Face her right to the fire pit. And we can watch YouTube while we're sitting at the fire.